Good evening, and I call the special meeting of the City Council for Monday, July 15th. Uh, please all stand and help me salute the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, please uh, continue to stand, Council Farwell. Mr. President, uh, the reason for this special meeting tonight is because the city suffered great sadness with the loss of our chief executive, who was a relatively young man and who served faithfully. A lot of people felt a great affection for the mayor, and I think it's only fitting that we have a moment of silence. Thank you, Mr. President. May his soul rest in peace. <coughs> Mr. Clerk, agenda item number one, please. We have the call of the meeting. That will be accepted and placed on file. We have the officer's return of notice. That too shall be accepted and placed on we file. We have the election of mayor to fill the unexpired term. The city council shall elect by majority vote one of its members as mayor for the remainder of the unexpired term of deceased Mayor Bill Carpenter. That too shall be accepted and placed on file. As the time has arrived, I'm basically going to turn over the meeting to the city clerk to conduct the rest of the meeting. So, Mr. Clerk. Okay, thank you. Welcome, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, members of the council. I'm sure the council is very familiar with what their duties are this evening, but for the people out in the audience and those watching TV, you must understand this is not a temporary appointment. This is to replace the mayor so that the councilor that is selected or elected to this position has the full power and duties of the mayor as though he or she were elected by a popular vote. They are to abide by the ordinances of the city of Brockton, the constitution of the laws of Massachusetts and the laws of the US of America. So without that, we'll go further, but I wanted to make it very clear, this is a very important decision and then the elected councillor will have full power. So I hope you all understand that. Members of the council, I know that you do, and I'm sure that you'll make a decision that will serve the city properly and for its well-being of its citizens. And with that, I will open it up for nominations for the replacement of the mayor. Mr. Clerk. Councillor Fowler. Mr. Clerk, I would like to place in nomination the name of Councillor at Large Moises Rodriguez. Second. 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 Mr. Clerk, I'd like to make a motion to close nomination. Second. Second. Okay. Nominations have been made. Councillor uh, Fowle has uh, recommended and nominated Councillor Moses Rodriguez, properly seconded by the Council. Therefore, I think we should call the roll. Mr. Mr. Clerk, may I have a moment of personal you privilege? You certainly shall. I will. Mr. Clerk and, and colleagues, uh, having served as mayor, I know what a difficult task is ahead of Councillor Rodriguez. He is an immediately going to have to console a staff which rightfully is very sad, probably demoralized because they've lost their leader. And that's not easy to step into an organization where you've got to deal with grief before you can deal with the work of the city. Now, sometimes when we sit here, it's hard to make the right decision because there are competing interests. In this case, I believe by selecting Councillor Rodriguez, we are making the right decision. He has been our council president. He has met with the mayor weekly on a variety of issues. <coughs> he is a veteran of the United States Navy. He has served in the administration of Mayor Harrington. So he is very well immersed. <laughs> so he is very well immersed and knowledgeable about municipal government, municipal finance. And the other thing that I think needs to be mentioned is he does a lot of work with the youth at St. Edith Stein. And working with the youth in this community is absolutely essential 
for the quality of life that we want for our residents and especially for our young people. So for all of those reasons, it isn't that he's of Cape Verdean descent. It isn't that he may be culturally different, ethnically different. This is clearly a decision that is right based on the man, Moises Rodriguez. And I'm very proud that he is. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Clegg. Um, it is truly a very unfortunate moment uh, in our city, given the fact that you know our recent mayor uh, just passed away unexpectedly. But I think that we, as elected officials in this city, and some of us actually uh, was elected by the entire city. I think uh, we have a solemn obligation not just to sit here, but also do what we think is best for the people. And given the fact that I know uh, Council President. Moses Rodriguez uh, for a while now, way before uh, I got elected myself. I strongly believe that uh, we as a collective body uh, will be able to select the best person. But in regard to my statement about Moses, I think Moses uh, does have the ability and also the capacity to serve uh, in that position, not only because he's the council president, but also serve under a former mayor. And I'm up. And I'm, I can personally say that you are able to observe and also watch closely some of the stuff that you and I discussed. And I think tonight, it's not about whether or not Moses is Cape Verdean and stuff like that, but it's voting for somebody who truly believes in giving every single one of us in this city an opportunity not only to speak, but also to act accordingly. And I think that statement is something that I think most of my colleagues will, will, will agree on. And I can see Moses, after he got the news about Bill Carpenter, how you know, sad <coughs> and down that he felt about the situation. Moses and myself spoke for like hours about the situation that we're dealing with. Although. Some of you folks out there might think that you know we, all of us are doing something crazy behind the scene, but we do take some time to actually analyze every step that we can possibly think to making sure that your voice uh, are being heard and also the, uh, the folks that you voted on will represent you accordingly. So uh, for me, uh, I said it uh, earlier this morning, my vote will not be a vote based on a culture or based on a race, but it will be based on a vote that will represent every single one of you. Those of you that know me well, you know that I stand for what is right and I stand for what is good. And I think Council Mo Moses Rodriguez is the person that can actually do that job. It's a very time consuming, and I also said that it's gonna take Moses a lot of times to do this, but I think you know all of us will stand with you to do this job accordingly. So thank you, Mr. <coughs> uh, Clerk. I truly appreciate the moment of personal privilege. Thank you. Mr. Clerk. Counselor. Moment of personal privilege, thank you, good evening. <laughs> Absent these extraordinary circumstances of Mayor Carpenter's unexpected passing, Oops, choosing a mayor is the decision of Brockton residents and not of the city council except for us being Brockton residents. Tonight, before we follow state law by nominating and voting for a mayor to serve out Mayor Carpenter's term, I must ask, several questions I'm very interested in, so are my constituents in getting the answers to, um, if you don't mind. Mr. Rodriguez, do you intend um, to run for mayor in this election cycle that, that uh, will culminate with an election in November? I have absolutely no intention to run for office in November. Thank you. I mean, wait a minute. Not not the mayor. mayor's run, but as <laughs> I intend to run mayor, for re election exactly right. for you. city council. Okay. And, <laughs> and will you devote your full time to being mayor in these next six months, taking a leave of absence or otherwise um, eschewing your full time employment at this time? I have done that in terms of having preliminary discussions with my employer, and they're willing to give me the time off to do this full time. Thank you, that's wonderful for the best interest of the city of Brockton. And lastly, can you give us a, a, a brief but succinct idea of some of your goals and priorities over these next six months? Well, I was gonna wait until the end okay. after we do this. Okay. Uh, since the nominations are closed, I think just by the mere fact that I can cast one vote oh. and we can get this done. But at the end, I was gonna do that and just uh, that's share just with you all some wait. of the thoughts Thank that I you. Have. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Okay. Any other counsel? Mr. President, I'm Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Clerk, a moment of personal privilege, if I may. Please. So, colleagues and, and residents, today's a sad day.
Bill Carpenter was buried. Politics aside, 62-year-old man, father, grandfather, it's a tragedy. It's a happy day on the other side because we're making the right choice for Moses Rodriguez. When Bill passed, I called Moses and he explained to me what he needed to do as president. That's why we elected him council of the president. It wasn't a job in name only, that's what he's done. He's a friend of mine, he's a colleague of mine, he and I share values uh, of family. And so what we're doing tonight is an extremely historic vote. Happened 70 years ago when Mayor Downey passed. But the circumstances are we need to make sure that the city council and the mayor's office continue the right path moving forward for the benefit of everybody in the city of Brockton. So I'm proud to say that the interim mayor is gonna be voted on tonight and I'm really proud of you, Moses. So thank you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Clerk, and, and I want to welcome everybody here this evening as well, and just to diddle some of the same comments that uh, my other councils have mentioned, and I, who sits as the Dean of the City Council, s uh, s say and, s and feel the same way as, as we are um, all doing to elect our council president to become the acting mayor for the next six months. Uh, I've been president three different times. A couple of the councils in this room have been president two or three other times as well. Uh, Moises became president in, in January. Uh, when he became president, he sat down with me and wanted to know some of the ins and outs of what uh, he had to do as, as president. And, and I went through that with him, the same as he did with the other councils that have served as president as well. Uh, I think one of the greatest things that he did do was follow my lead and to make sure that you met with the mayor um, try to meet every week or every other week, and I think that he was doing that. As a matter of fact, conversation just a few weeks ago uh, with him and right before the passing of um, Mayor Carpenter, he had indicated how he was gonna be meeting with him, and unfortunately that meeting did not happen. But he was working with him in the same steps that I was and other, other councils as well to make sure that we move the city forward. And just to ditto some of the same things uh, um, Council Fowler has mentioned, which I have great, great concern with, and I had opportunity to talk to um, the Council President this morning in regards to this as well, is the fact that everybody in City Hall stays in its place. Everything that's going on in City Hall must stay in its place. And my greatest concern is for the people that are in that inner office, because they're younger than some of us, and they've never gone through this type of a situation. Uh, sometimes an employee may pass, but sometimes when the boss goes home at night and does, does not come back the next day, it makes it very difficult because that's whom they were working for. And I think Council Rodriguez understands that. I know he does, and he's gotta give them the time and the space, and I think that he'll do that. I think we will be here um, as the city council to work with him. He just has to change his hat now from a legislative look to an executive branch look, and, and sometimes that may be difficult, but I don't think it will be because it's for six months, but the, the course of going in the right direction is what we have to do, and that's what I'm asking that he, he continue to do, and, uh, and I know that he will. So um, with that being said, um, you know, I, I, I welcome him, and, and I know I'll look forward to working with him for these next, uh, these next six months. So uh, I think it's in our best interest that we elect him this evening. Thank you. Any other councillor would like to be heard? Let's call for the vote so he can start his term. A moment of personal privilege, please. I couldn't not say a word. Councilor I didn't Rita. prepare a speech, but I would like to um, just say how proud I, proud I am of uh, Council President in the last um, week or week and a half and how he's dealt with the situation, which I, nobody's ever dealt with. And, um, and I respect how, what he's gone through and, um, and look forward to working with him as our <coughs> future mayor. Thank you. Okay, so since the nominations were properly open and Councilor Rodriguez was nominated, properly seconded to the motion, then the time has come for roll call to elect Councilor Rodriguez as the mayor of the city of Brockton to fill in the unexpired term. Councilor Asak. My friend and colleague, Councillor Moses Rodriguez. Councillor Beauregard. President of City Council, Moses Rodriguez. Councillor Cruz. 
My friend Moses Rodriguez. Councillor Derencourt. Council President Moses Rodriguez. Councillor Ian Airy. President Rodriguez. Councillor Farwell. Council President Moses Rodriguez. Councillor Lally. The Council President Moses Rodriguez. Although you can be my friend if you want. Go ahead. <laughs> Moises Rodriguez. Councilor Nicastro. Councilor President Moses Rodriguez. Councilor Rodriguez. <laughs> uh, me. Yay! <laughs> City Council President and my colleague, Councilor at Large, Moises Rodriguez. President, moment of personal, uh, Mr. Mr. Clerk. I just need to announce. Now, Mr. Vote. Mr. Clerk, motion for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. Second. Uh, I just well, need to announce. She needs to announce the vote. Eleven in the affirmative for Councilor Rogers. Now doing. Reconsideration. The I clerk, I made a motion for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. All in favor? Eight. All opposed? Reconsideration failed. Now. All right, we don't want to get kicked out of City Hall yet, <laughs> so let's behave a little bit. <laughs> Mr. Hey. Clerk, come on up, Mr. Clerk. I ask for a recess so that he may be sworn and sign the book. Okay, then we'll juice the staff. We'll take about a five-minute recess, a three-minute recess.
Okay. I hope so. There's a lot of candidates. Okay, folks. Come on, Jill. There's Tony Dunnigan, and then there's another parent. Um, I forget her name. She lives on Cherry Street. It's not coming through for some reason. We're finally gonna. Yep. Here. Okay. Raise your right hand. Insert your name after I, and repeat after me. I. I, Moses M. Rodriguez. To solemnly swear. To solemnly swear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I'll bear true faith and allegiance. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I. I, Moses M. Rodriguez, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties have come upon me as mayor to the city of Brockton, as mayor to the city of Brockton. According to the best of my ability and understanding, according to the best of abil my abilities and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth, agreeable to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth, and the ordinances of the City of Brockton, and the ordinances of the City of Brockton. So help me God. So help me God. I, I, Moses M. Rodriguez, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations, Thank Mayor. You. I just, um, I just want to take a minute and just thank everybody that took time to come here today. I also want to thank my colleagues in government for the faith that they put on me. I wrote absolutely nothing down, and I'm doing this from the heart. I also want to thank my family, both in the community and at home, and especially my wife that puts up with a lot of my abuse. But as I said on the, in the hours after the passing of the mayor, this is Mayor Bill Carpenter's administration. And I made a promise that we were going to work together as, a, as one government. And the, the nice thing about this is actually somebody from this group is moving downstairs for a few months, which guarantees the fact that we will have that connection between mm -hmm. the mayor's office and this body. 
And I do intend to do exactly what we had talked about. I had a, a long meeting with the staff downstairs in the mayor's office. I have absolutely no intention, um, unless somebody burns the building down, of getting rid of anybody. Uh, what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna strap our boots and work together for the good of the people in this community. The taxpayers aren't paying us, no matter how small the amount is, for us to come here and just hang out. That's we true. have a job to do, and the taxpayers of this community expect us to do it. So when you look at the events that we went through uh, in the last week and a half or so, it was difficult for everybody. There was not a single person in this community that was not affected by it. If, it, if they weren't affected directly by it, they were affected through what took place after the fact. So as a citizen of this great city of ours, it's important, again, that we leave our differences aside, our thinkings aside, and work for the good and the will of the people of the city. And that's what I intend to do for six months. And I, as I said earlier, I'm also gonna be running for re-election as a city council back here in the city. So don't forget to go out and vote because it's good for all of us. This isn't gonna be simple, as, as uh, Council Farwell said. Uh, we have uh, a tough road ahead. There's plenty of um, obstacles that we're gonna encounter, but the, the well, one thing I can guarantee you is that we're gonna do this together. I know it's a little cliche-ish to talk about this, together we can, together we can, but I truly believe that together we can actually move Brockton forward with what has been put down as foundation, with the will of this council, I think we can do some great things in this community. And for that, So I wanna thank everybody, those that came from far away, those that just came in to say hello, those that have never seen this beautiful chambers and building. Uh, I was talking to the clerk a few minutes ago, it would be nice when we're discussing the budget of the city to see yeah. the faces that we see yes. here today. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna put out an invitation to all of you. This is your chamber. This is your city hall. No one owns it but you, the taxpayers in this community. Please use it. Please come and check us out. And please help us make Brockton a greater city than it actually is. Thank you. All right, we're going to recess for a moment or two because we're gonna to have to go on and elect the council president for the remainder of the year. Should I, should I do this one more time? You can do that one more time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Councilors, the mics are on. We're back in session. Okay. The question now is to appoint or elect a councilor to fill the vacancy of the council president for the year 2019. Nominations are open. Mr. Clerk. Councilor Fowler. Mr. Clerk, I nominate Councilor at Large and Attorney Robert Sullivan. Second. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Oh. Move to close the nominations. Second. Okay. Nominations have been properly opened, seconded, and closed. The question now will be on the election of Council President for the year, to, for the remainder of the year, 2019. Will the clerk please call the roll? Uh, I don't know. Call the roll. Who's that? She just left. I'll just go by and we'll bring her in at the end. Really? Right. Uh, Beauregard? Yes. Councilor Cruz? Sullivan. Councilor Derencourt? Yes. Councilor Ian Airy? Councilor Sullivan. Councilor Farwell? Councilor Sullivan. Councilor Lally? Councilor Sullivan. Councilor Monahan? Councilor Sullivan. Councilor Nicastro? Councilor Sullivan. Councilor Sullivan? Uh, Robert Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nine for Councillor Sullivan, zero in opposition. 
to uh, make a motion for reconsideration. Hope second. Not second. Reconsideration. A uh, show of hands in favor of reconsideration. Those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Councilor Sullivan, you've been elected. As Councilors, we, uh, first of all, I want to thank you uh, for your vote of confidence. As you know, I've, I've been the council president 2008, 2014, 2017, and when Dennis had surgery last year, the dean of the council, I was acting. Uh, so I am honored uh, to be working on your behalf, as always. Um, and the benefit is I just spoke to Mayor Rodriguez and told him I'd be seeing him tomorrow. Uh, we, we, we're going to continue this collaborative approach. Uh, from the mayor's office and of course the legislative body to just keep keep the train moving down the tracks that's the goal and the purpose and that's what's going to be achieved so again thank you very much it's an honor and privilege and we're going to move right into the finance committee because that's where we are tonight and i'll serve as chairman madam clerk if we could please go into the agenda item number one okay, we'll, have to call. Door open a minute. we'll take a, we'll take a uh, two-minute recess